Hello, Star Citizens. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on how to set up a Space Pilot Pro and other 3D Connexion devices for use in Star Citizen as a flight control. First thing you're going to need is some software called VJoy that's available online for free. And you just run that, and it brings up this interface where you need to initially add a device. Now, I've already added a device here, so I'm just going to enable the VJoy device. And you'll see here that the various axes that are available are the X, Y, Z, rotation X, Y, and Z. I've added 28 buttons. Uh, if you have a different 3D connection device than I do, then you may get a different number, or you may need a, to put a different number in there. I don't even have all these assigned, but you can assign as many buttons as your device has. Once that's set up, just go ahead and close that. And you'll notice that now we have a VJoy device here, but we need to connect the Space Pilot Pro to that. For that, you need SX2 VJoy, which is also available online for free. And then you just run that, and you'll see it connects the Space Pilot Pro connected to VJoy ID1. So now it's connected to this virtual joystick device. You can configure this stuff. Uh, there's dead zone, you can invert, uh, there's pitch sensitivity, curvature, exponent, you can remap the different axes to different axes if you want. I find that just by default it's pretty much set up exactly as I need it. Uh, there's also the ability to change the button setup depending on the type of controller you have. But I don't really need to change anything on there currently. So close that, close this, and now we will fire up Star Citizen. Just log in here. And fire off the game. You know, I've, I've found that uh, despite having a flight stick and, and having tried uh, Xbox controller and keyboard and mouse, that I'm really enjoying the 3D Connexion control a lot better than any of the other options available. Uh, I think, uh, especially once I start going with gimbaled weapons, I think it's going to be exceptionally useful since I'll have both left and, uh, you know, control the ship with my left hand and control the gimbal with my right. Okay, now that I got Star Citizen open, what I need to do here, or what you'll need to do, is tab out back to the desktop. And you're going to need to open up your 3D Connexion driver software, which is over here. So you open that up, and you'll notice it says CIG Patcher. And that means that it's currently got the focus on this, but we want it to be focused on Star Citizen. So I'm going to go to Star Citizen, and then I'm going to tab right back out. And you'll notice now it's focused on Star Citizen. And the reason you need to do this is you got to go into the advanced setting for Star Citizen. By default, this forward and backward tilt will be set up as active. Now what this will do is it creates a, uh, a mouse scroll wheel effect. So if you're in menus and whatnot and you tilt the 3D Connexion knob forward and backwards, it'll scroll up and down in menus. But what that also has a side effect of doing is when you're in flight mode, it causes your view to zoom in and zoom out, which is undesirable during actual gameplay. So we're going to uncheck this and then hit close. And when we hit OK here, it just jumps right back into Star Citizen and you're good to go there. Now I will show you the options and how I have it set up in the key binding. So just go over to your HOTUS joystick setup and in here under flight movement, you'll notice that I have pitch set up as rotate X and then I've got yaw set up as rotate Z. Uh, rotate X is going to be tilt forward and back. Rotate Z is twisting it left and right. And then we have rotate Y for roll. That's tilting it left and right. And then further down, I've got my throttle set up. Now this is connected to my Momo Racing Wheels accelerator pedal. Uh, and that gives me throttle control, which is very nice to have in conjunction with this. Um, and then from there, I have the Z is set up for the strafe up and down. That's pulling up and down on the knob. 
and then strafe left and right is pushing left and right on the knob and then strafe forward and backwards is set up for Y that's pushing forward and pushing backwards on the knob. You can also set up your decouple with the various different axes as well if you want your decouple settings. I don't personally use decouple but if you do it's available for you to change in there as well. Now the other thing you're going to need to change is in the HOTUS control options you're going to want to change the flight roll the flight strafe up and down and the flight strafe forward and backwards to be inverted. That way when you roll tilt it to the left, it tilts, it rotates to the left. If you uh, want to strafe up and down, you pull up on it, it goes up. If you push down and it goes down. And then you want to go forward and backwards if you want to push forward on it and pull backwards on it. You could leave those if you like them the other way, but this is how I've got it set up. Okay, with all of that covered, now let's go in and I will show you a quick demonstration of what this is like in the Arena Commander. Um, now, this will work in the test universe as well, but uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go into free flight mode, select my 315P, and then go ahead and launch this. I think you'll find that uh, the overall control using the, the Space Pilot Pro is really very, very intuitive. Uh, it doesn't take a long time to get used to it. Uh, once you get it set up the right way. And yeah, it's not exactly plug and play, but I, I think it's really worth it. Okay, so here we are. We're in the environment, and I'm just going to get a little closer to this. Uh, and then I'm going to like move around a bit. Now, right now, I'm just using the strafe on the 3D Connexion. And you can rotate it over, and you can rotate up instead. Uh, so now I'm kind of pulling up and pushing, tilting it forward so I can rotate around this. And, uh, you know, I mean, in general, it works really, really well. But uh, you do have to be aware of collisions because, you know, you can't see above you and below you. At least not yet. Perhaps when I get my Oculus Rift, I'll be able to just look up and watch out for things. But for now, I'm kind of st stuck with my view forward. And now, as you can see, when you get up close to things, it's really nice for just crawling around it. And, uh, you know, it gives you a lot of control over how you move around objects. And, uh, you know, like you can move forward, and you can pull back, and, and like back up away from things. Of course, you got your rotations. Uh, you know, but having the strafe along with your other controls really adds uh, a nice dynamic to your flight control. And uh, it doesn't take long to get used to. And uh, I think you guys might really enjoy it. So, in any case, uh, give it a shot if you've got one. If you don't, maybe consider getting one. And uh, I will see you guys in the verse. Thank you very much.